Hello fellow simmers and welcome to this tutorial from Flight Sim Productions. Today we're taking a look at uh, an issue I just recently got from prepared version 4.2 and that is my ATC has been showing up and it's grayed out. In other words, I cannot make any selections such as contacting the tower for clearance. I noticed on the uh, forums that several folks have been having the same issue and there are a ton of different options that people have given to work around it and for some reason none of them worked and this was the only one that I could come up with and uh, hopefully it'll help you out. I usually get my flights from SimBrief and uh, load them up no issues and uh, that's what we're going to do for this one is I've already set up the flight plan through SimBrief and have everything ready to rock so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to load that uh, it's this one up here from Montreal to Boston. And as you can see, normally when you select it and click OK, all of the uh, waypoints and such are already taken care of. But it seems to take a little bit longer now that I've done the upgrade. And I'm not sure if that's because of an upgrade through Active Sky. I've not added any new aircraft, so I'm not sure if it's a prepared thing or an Active Sky thing. But eventually it does pop up like this and, you know, you're back to normal and everything looks like it's going to be fantastic. So we click OK and it's asking you where you want to start your flight at, of course. The next, what we're going to do is we're going to change the aircraft because I don't think I need to fly an F-22 Raptor. I am going to go ahead and use an aircraft that I'm working on the next video for that I'm doing. That's the PMDG 737, and uh, it's a WestJet livery. And I have that marked as a favorite. Ah, there we go. Okay, I'm going to click OK. And through the magic of video editing, I'm going to go ahead and not let you be bored with watching the progress bar go around so hang on just a second okay so we're up and loaded and this is just going to take a bit to get all the uh, systems going for the PMDG I kind of cheat sometimes and just have it start up so I don't have to go through all the procedures to start up Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click the ATC, and as you can see, it's working now for me. But what would normally happen, let me go ahead and uh, blow this up a little bit here. So you can see now that everything is working fine because of the changes I've done in the past. Otherwise, the ATC menu would be all grayed out. You wouldn't be able to, like I said earlier, you wouldn't be able to contact ATC for clearance or you wouldn't be able to use the uh, ATIS system on it unless you went ahead and you did that manually by tuning in your radios which isn't a big deal but if you want to use the air traffic control it just didn't work so here's the workaround I found and that is we close out of prepared 3D and we're gonna go into our app data to do that up here you're going to type in the percentage sign APP DATA percentage sign again and then you'll hit enter and we're going to scroll down to Lockheed Martin prepare 3D version 4 and then we're going to find our config file, much like FSX. It's going to say prepare 3D. If you have the extensions enabled where you, to where you can see them, it'll say prepare 3D.cfg. And what I do with this is I just simply drag it to my desktop, which is easier said than done sometimes. Zoom out of here. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw it on my desktop. And then I'm going to go ahead and restart prepare 3d and what this is going to do is it's going to rebuild the config file so after your prepare 3d is loaded and for some reason I'm jumping the gun on this one as it's loading but 
we're going to go ahead and we're going to just simply either replace the scenery config file in your app data folder or you can go ahead and trash it and then drag the one that you copied to the desktop Put the old one back in which will keep all of your previous settings and it'll save you a step from having to go in and redoing everything and that is pretty much the secret on how to do this I've done this a few times like I said and everything appears to be working okay why it took off all of a sudden is beyond me but I'm sure that the problem will probably come back again sometime but that's the quick turnaround or I should say the quick workaround to getting your prepared 3d ATC back on track until next time this is flight sim productions keep your head in the cloud and as always don't forget to subscribe throw us a thumbs up check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash flight sim productions